morning or is actually morning. It's eleven thirty eight, Thursday the ninth of August. And I'm cold. <laughs> Yay! I never thought I'd be happy to be cold. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, it, it's not miserable outside, but it's certainly, um, on the cooler, breezier side. It's lovely. <laughs> I did wake up a bit of a headache this morning when Duncan was getting ready to leave. That would have been about six o'clock this morning. Um, but Duncan got a nice pack for me, popped up on my head before he left. Um, and then I slept straight through until my alarm went off at ten. Which is fabulous. <laughs> um... So, yeah, I woke up feeling a little better. The headaches come back a little bit, but that might have something to do with the fact that I've got my lovely nephew Max over staying tonight. I um, stayed last night and he's been very vocal this morning, telling me all about his games and what ones he loves and what ones are in the new characters and all this stuff. It's a lot of talking. <laughs> um, Mally used to be the same. Reese used to be the same. Talking so much, non-stop. But as they got older, they grew out of it. Max is still younger, so he hasn't quite grown out of it yet. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was, it was a little more than I could handle just on waking up. So he's popped upstairs to play for a little while so I could actually breathe. <laughs> um, but no, he's lovely. I get so many hugs and loving, and we were having tickle fights this morning as well. I probably didn't have the head, but yeah. Um, he stretched and I tickled under his arm and that was it. That set it off. He, he kept stretching and um, bending in ways for me to tickle him. <laughs> so he loves being tickled. So yeah, we had a lovely little morning. Um, a little tickle fight and him showing me all of his games and things. And me saying how I don't actually like shooting games and violent games, which he seems to play a lot of. But as his mum's choice, he can play what she says. Um... We have very different views on what our children can do at what ages. Because <laughs> um, he's watched The Walking Dead. Mally has not. <laughs> um, though he can now if he chooses to. But up until he turned 13 he wasn't allowed to watch any of that sort of stuff. Um, once you get to 13 I'm, I'm a little more inclined to let them make their own judgement call. Because I think it's good practice for them to work out what they like and what they don't like. And what they can handle and what they can't. I still monitor everything. Um, and some stuff I will still veto. Um, but I give him much more say in what he can do. Because they're not going to learn if you don't. Um, yeah, so that's my little parenting round there. Eh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm going to do some more on the 5D painting today. Because I really want to. <sighs> yeah, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm happy. Um, Max's laughter and joy is in in. in infectious there we go sorry <laughs> um so yeah he's just made me really happy and yeah because Mally's becoming the typical grumpy teenager all my boys do it they all became the typical grumpy teenager they're not mouthy or rude or anything like that they're just you know hormones they, they make you a bit grumpy especially when you need more sleep and as he has a paper round he has to get up early um sleep is not something he gets much more of now so you know I expect him to be a little grumpy I accept it they're never rude, and that's the important part. Um, but Max is still at the age where he's just happy all the time. Um, which is fabulous, and I love it. And it's infectious, and it makes me feel happy. And what more could you want? <laughs> I do miss having younger boys. I can't cope with younger kids right now. But I'm just, my body can cope with it, but I do miss it. They're just, they're so wonderful and loving and caring and accepting. And that's the way we all should be. So... Oh, yeah. he's decided this cupboard in the back here, which is tiny, it actually holds my old knitting machine and some old wires and old CDs, that sort of stuff. Um, but he's decided that we need to clear it out and turn it into his room because he wants to be like Harry Potter and have a room under the stairs. And he's fascinated that I have a room under the stairs. The fact that it is tiny is completely irrelevant to him. He still wants it. I don't know how often he's planning on coming over there. He needs his own room. <laughs> but bless him. I, I'm sure at some point I can clear it out just so he can have a play in it or something. But at the moment I need to work out where I'd put everything. Um, I love my knitting machine. But I can't afford to replace the needles on it. And they need new needles. Because um, I got it second hand. It was well, well cared for. 
but I got it second hand from a lady who'd had it since, uh, I think she said the 70s. It's an old one, original style knitting machine. <laughs> um, but it's just, it needs new needles and I can't afford them. <laughs> uh, so it sits in there until I can. I mean, yeah, I could not buy so much yarn or new 5 paintings and save up for them. But that I'm not particularly using, the rest of it I am, so that will wait until I have excess money. When that'll happen, I don't know. Maybe when I win the lottery, but first I need to be able to afford to play the lottery. <laughs> but no, it sits in there, so I need to find somewhere better for it if I'm going to let him play in there. Um, I don't know, I can't remember what else is in there. I know there's a load of old leads. We tend to keep all leads because you never know when you're going to need something. But I think we really do need to get rid of some now. They're just, you know, there's some stuff that's just not going to be using that type of lead anymore. <laughs> so we'll have, we'll, we need to have a sort out. But that's just time and energy I don't have right now. <laughs> so for now, he can stay up in Mally's room with him. There's room for both of them to sleep up there and play, so it's not a problem. Um. Oh. So sorry. As I said, tired. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna finish off some more of that fighty painting, which I'm sure I haven't done a crafty update video for a little while, purely because there's not really much to catch up on. Um with the little holiday I had with Duncan, um, and then getting things sorted and then also not feeling very well. Um I've just I've not had time to do much else. Um, I said I was working a little on the Wings of Change blanket the other day and I'll probably work some more on that today. Um, and if I get this 5D paint on, and I need to finish off the dragon and my squares for Terry. So I've got a few things I need to get finished. Um, so some of them might appear in a video soon. Um, but we'll see. At the moment with this daily vlogging as well and the fact that my computer is, um, well, let's just not talk about my computer, shall we? <laughs> um, doing actual proper videos is a little harder because I have to put them onto my iPad and it can't handle the large amount of storage that some of my videos take because sometimes there's a lot of cuts in different sections, especially my tutorial ones. Um, so I just, I just have to do smaller videos on that. We'll see. I don't edit my videos like majorly, you know, they're nothing fancy, but there are some times where things need to be cut out because, well, I've had either a major coughing fit, which I haven't had in a long time actually, my new asthma pump is doing fantastic, um, or I've suddenly just forgotten my train of thought severely, um, or words have just gone completely kaput sometimes just everything starts coming out gobbly gook it's just part of my conditions um all the boys have interrupted for something major all the phone rings you know those sort of things you, you tend to cut out not if the boys are just saying hi and things but if there's like something major they need me to listen to mummy time you always put everything else down so i need the ability to be able to edit out anything like that you know <sighs> which I think you can do pretty well, but if it becomes a large amount of cuts and takes, there's not enough storage on the iPad to do it. Uh, that's the only thing I dislike about iPhones and iPads and things is you can't extend the storage with Android pro an an Andro Android products. You can, and that's why I saved with them for so long. It's only because... Um, the last phone I had was so, so very bad. I was so mad with Android um, after spending a rather large amount of money on a phone that um, I decided to go to iPhone instead and then we've kind of stuck with it because I've actually found they're not that bad. <laughs> I always thought they were rubbish, but they're not that bad. They, they do the job pretty well and I like the way they all link together easy enough. Um... Whether I'll go back to Android at a later date, I don't know. I'm not, you know, diehard fan of one and not the other. They all have their good points and their bad points. I was just mad with Android for a long time. <laughs> um, so, we'll see. 
See, how did I even get on? I have zero idea how I got onto that subject. Oh well, never mind. You lot are used to me rambling along to different ones. <laughs> I'm gonna go before I say anything more weird. <laughs> I'll check in with you all later. Take care. Bye. Hey all. It's um five oh three in the evening now. Early evening. I'm very, very tired. But I've actually done nothing other than my 5D painting all day. I had planned on doing some of the um Rings of Change blanket. I even have it beside me here. But I haven't done anything because I was too hot again. I was really cold this morning. I think I said to you I was really cold. And then I, so I just got really hot and I haven't had a cool down all day. Um, which pain in my... I'm sorry about this angle. I need to rest my arms. <laughs> um, yeah, Max hasn't gone back yet. He won't be going back until later tonight when Duncan gets home. But he's been a good boy. They're upstairs playing. Um, he found some of my crystals... Um, some of my nice ones up on my side and he was asking all about them so I actually got out um, a container I have with hundreds of damn things from when I used to sell um, pagan and old hunter supply stuff um, and so I still have a container left of crystals uh, polished gemstone ones um, tumble stone ones um, so I let him go through them and he was asking all about them and he'd taken a little bag with a collection of them home with him I don't know if his mum would be happy with that, but he was fascinated by them all in all the colours, so I let him take them if he wants them. Um, they're just going to sit in a container otherwise. I had planned on making them into key rings and jewellery and things, I just never got around to it, they just sit there. I've made some, but I never really got around to much. Did that... Welcome to my nightmare. I brought out a newspaper so that I could catch it and squat it away disappeared so I put the newspaper down start walking turn around it's on the newspaper it's tormenting me it's trying to drive me insane <laughs> um but yeah yeah other than it's been a really quiet day um it's not been too bad my middle son came home because he didn't come home last night um he hasn't been home many nights um so I texted him check he was all right and everything he'd been out with mates and things not drinking apparently just out hang around beaches and things um but it seems he's decided he's moving out again <laughs> um he's giving his double bed to mally so we've got to work out how we're going to fit a double bed in mally's room we're going to have to get rid of his um computer desk and everything it's just not going to fit um but that's good mally needs a new bed we've been looking at new beds for him but we needed one with storage really this one doesn't have storage, which means we're going to have to get rid of the computer desk and he's going to have to put his computer and laptop and things on top of the chest of drawers that he has. Um, he's got two, so he can put his laptop on one, computer screen on the other um, and use the shelves to put his Xbox and his Wii and his PlayStation on. Um, and hopefully we can work out a setup with that. So that sounds really bad that he's got all those things, but he's paid for them all himself. Um, in this house, if a child wants an expensive game station, phone, game, whatever, they have to earn it. They earn the money and they pay for it. So, um, over the years, they've had birthdays and Christmas monies that have all been combined to buy them. And then as soon as they turn 13, they get a job and they buy it that way. And that's what he's done. Um, or do the odd thing around the house to earn extra money. Um, and I think it teaches them... How to survive in the real world, you want to say? You earn the money and you pay for it. Um, so, yeah, they're not spoiled little brats with all these different things. They earn them and they get to use them. Um, so, yeah, once we've put his clothes away in that, we'll put, I'm making um, crochet hammock, toy hammocks to put along the walls and in the corners. He's going to have them in three of the corners because one of them's obviously the door and he can't put it in there. Um, and then he's going to have proper hammock shaped ones you know what I mean against the actual walls um that should be able to put all his cuddlies up there because he's got a lot um and then all we have to do is work out where we're going to put the rest of his toys um to be honest I won't get rid of him because he doesn't really play with them anymore but he has a thing for cars he's had a thing for cars since you know he's old enough to do anything and he, he can't let them go and I'm he doesn't have room for them but I don't want to make him let them go you know cars was his thing um, he'd have them lined up in perfectly neat little lines, he'd take them to bed with him, 
he took them out. He had he had his own little rucksack from as soon as he was able to talk, so that he could put which cars he wanted to take with him out for the day, so that he always had cars on him. Um, and I don't want to make him get rid of them, so we're gonna have to find a way of storing them because they're not gonna work in a toy hammock because it's too netty. So it might be that I'll have to make some baskets I can hang. Um, but I don't know how because the problem is we're not supposed to put things on the walls. Um, these things are hanging on nails that were already in the house when we moved. Um, picture frames are either hanging on things on or we are very naughty and we did put a couple in. Which we're not supposed to do. But I wasn't having no pictures up of my kids. It wasn't going to happen. I know all you see is plain walls. You know, but if I can, uh, that way, you can see, there is, hopefully you can see, um, you can't see the camera when I turn around, um, but yeah, we do have pictures up, that there is one of my paintings, so it's not particularly very good, but you know, it was my first galaxy painting, I was happy with it, um, yeah, so, I'm gonna put the hammocks up with those sticky, tab hook things I don't know what they're called but I'm sure you know what I mean um but I'm not sure they'd be strong enough to hold a bag of toys I don't know would they I've, I've never used them um it's only going to do the cuddlies because they'd be quite light but yeah I don't know but I'll have to come up with something but I think he's happy he's gonna get a double bed that gives him more room to sleep because he actually sleeps in a chair at the moment or on the floor um he does have a bed but we lost one of the bolts and it's a high sleeper so it's very wobbly so it makes him too nervous to sleep on it so he doesn't which is fair enough um but then my boys are all like me i prefer sleeping on the floor as a kid i didn't want to sleep on my bed i slept on the floors or on sofas i actually used to sleep upside down on the sofa legs up over the back and my head down on the floor i was a little weird but it turns out so it's my boys because they used to do it too <laughs> um yeah we're gonna get that sorted out i keep moving and sending the light funny don't i i'm so sorry um yeah so not really done much but it does mean that when reese has moved out the conservatory will now be empty and back to being an empty room in theory we'd use her as a conservatory but we're not going to i'm going to turn it back into my craft room because it was my craft room when the three boys had the rooms upstairs um and then when reese moved out um, I took over the small room, the smallest, which is tiny box room, is my craft room, and the other two moved in to the next size up room for them. So Kurt's got the biggest, and Maddie's got the middle. And then Reese moved back in. I said, Well, I'm not moving my stuff out of my craft room, you'll have to do it yourself because it was a lot of work. And he said he didn't want that room because it's too small, and so he took the conservatory. Um, so I had to clear out the conservatory of all my craft stuff as well. Uh, but now he's leaving. For how long? Who knows? He's already moved out three times and moved back in. <laughs> um, but yeah, now he's leaving. I will take over the conservatory again, which means I will have room to set up my sewing machine permanently, um, have better storage for some of the stuff that's currently in crates because I can't put it anywhere. Um, so it's going to be really nice. I might have more room and I might actually be able to start filming back in the craft room again, which would be fabulous. Because um, at the moment I'm always on here, on my sofa in the lounge, which as you can see isn't very big. You can see one corner and you can see the door. <laughs> um, but it'd be nice to be able to spread the stuff over two rooms and at least have a bit more room. So yeah, some of the stuff. Once it's done, I'll show you the rooms, but it's going to be a little while to get it all sorted, I think. Let's see. Um, I may try to time lapse it, but I don't actually know how to do a time lapse video. The, I, all the speed up videos I've done, I've filmed like normal, and then in the editor, I've told it to speed up so so fast, so many times. Um, whereas I believe doing proper time lapse, some cameras have a proper setting on it, but I don't know how that works, so I don't do it. So I'll probably just film a load <laughs> and then cut it down again. I don't know. Um, but then I filmed doing that craft room upstairs and then I never actually put it up because I didn't like the footage because the angles you have to try to film at because the room's so small is that I had to film outside of the room for part of it and it was just, it was boring, it was, so I didn't do it but maybe doing that craft room because it's basically, for those who watched my live you saw the 
dining room, um, which is a corridor. Um, you've got the lounge here, and then you've got the dining room, and then you have the conservatory. It's just one straight long line um, with walls in the middle. <laughs> so I might be able to get a better angle for filming on that. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> so I'm going to go. I've been binge-watching YouTube all day, hence a lot of people have had comments from me. Because <laughs> I actually remembered to comment on most of them today, which was really impressive for me. <laughs> but I'm actually watching a Graveyard Girl one at the moment. Well, I'll tell a lie. It's a Banana Peppers one, her second channel. Because um, I realised I'd missed one of hers. Um, and then I'll go back to working through the Yarny Goodness. I'd like to break up the type of videos I'm watching so that I'm not watching the same thing all day. Just to keep me awake really because if I have the same thing on a day I feel quite tired so I had um Grace's UB Maltese's 5D painting ones um and her 5D painting chat and her 5D painting tips I watched both of those today um then I watched um Kim's I was too behind on Kim so I watched them um watched one of Randy's um, I can't remember who else I've watched today. Oh, I've just finished watching, um, who, 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 who have been? The lady that loves, um, Doctor Who. A, a who have been or something. I'm sure most of you know who it is. Um, yeah, so I just watched the one she put out, I think it was two weeks ago now. I was behind on her, um, because I don't get notifications for her, so... Um, what I've d taken to do is work my way down my subscription list. Um, once a day, I'll watch a video from each person on it to so try to catch up. <laughs> but I'm getting there. Um, yeah, so, sorry, I keep moving, but my arms can't handle it, and I ain't got around to buying a new tripod for this camera. No, nope, try that again. This phone. I have one for my camera, but I can't use my camera because I can't edit properly. Hmm. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and I'll probably catch you all later once Duncan's home and we've taken Max home. Right, take care. Bye. Right, so I've got that much done and I've still got all of this under here. None of this here is done, as you can see, but this is now finished. So I'm doing quite well on the Heidi paint, so I only got it yesterday. A little obsessed. Done nothing else. Look at all my little bags. <laughs> It was quite good because um, it actually came with a whole load of these little bags and these little labels so I could just write them on. didn't come with quite enough bags so I had to go hunting around for bags that lying around. But it had plenty enough labels. Um, and it even came with a little holder on the um, pen and the other end so it's a double-ended one. And a much better tray. This tray... I can tip back into the bags easily enough. And it even came with a lovely pair of tweezers. That is nice. It came with two of these ones, which is much bigger length. It's about double the size I normally get with my ones. And I got two of them. Um, just going to turn the camera. Oh, yeah. Um, so hopefully, if I manage to angle it right, you've just seen some of the 5D painting I've been working on. Um, because that's all I've done. Instead of doing any of the rings to change, I've done nothing but 5D painting. I'm a little obsessed. But I've basically finished the wolf part and I'm onto the rest of the picture now. The moon and the tree and the flower. And it's so pretty. Um, I showed you all the bits that came with this one because I can't remember if I showed you in my last video or not. Um, so I showed them again. <laughs> but Duncan's now taken Max off to go home. I'm sorry about the glaring of the light. Um, there's not much I can do about it. It's just glaring. Does it normally glare that bad? But anyway, yeah, so Duncan's just taken Max back. Mally's gone with him to sit with him in the car, make sure he sits down and be safe and all that sort of stuff. Um, they do get seatbelted in and everything, but Max has a little habit of trying to take his seatbelt off, so someone has to sit in the back with him and monitor him. But, yeah, so I'm going to call it quits for the night once Duncan gets back I'm gonna have my dinner and then go to bed because pain levels are starting to get quite high um and I've already had my max dose of painkillers for the day so I can't take anything more 
not though um, I actually have any painkillers that's for my fibro because um, my gabapentin is actually for my migraines but it also works it's often um, prescribed for fibro so I was hoping it would help but it hasn't so I don't know but September I go up to the rheumatologist and see if they actually do anything more I don't know um, I'm going to take a list of all of my symptoms into the doctors. I can't remember if I said um, I want them to test me for a few other things. Um, so if I take a list of everything in, wrote down on one piece of paper and said that I'm seeing me for one issue and then another issue, they might see that there's a whole bunch of stuff that actually goes together for a different diagnosis. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go. Um, I've had a lovely day. It was nice having Max over. Um, it's nothing I can do often. He is he's a lot of work, but not in a bad way. He's just he's a kid. You know, kids take a lot of work. Um, mine are all grown up and take care of themselves now. Max obviously isn't. He's only eight. So I'm gonna go. I have no idea what angle that just went at. Then my eyes were closed. So if you went up to the ceiling, I'm sorry. I had to adjust my arm. <laughs> I'm gonna go, and I'll catch you all later. So take care.